So this is it. This is the beginning. This is a build based on Jack Frags. Thank you, Jack. Um, the only differences I have made, and I'll point those out later, is I got more RAM, a slightly bigger processor, changed the power source, which may be a problem later, and I got a mouse keyboard and a monitor, because my other computer is a Mac laptop which I love, but it doesn't play Windows games. So, here we go. So here we have most of the parts. Um, our CD drive. Um, I upgraded to 16 gigs of RAM, because why not? I never had 16 gigs of RAM before. Upgraded to a slightly uh, faster processor. Graphics card, motherboard, hard drive. I went with the uh, CX430 power source, but what I did is I upgraded this before I looked at doing the RAM in the processor, so I hope it's going to have enough power to power those as well. I'll uh, find out. I mean, if I have to change out my power source, that's not so bad. Um, I got an M6800 gigabyte mouse. I have one already. I use it on my laptop. It's fabulous. Dual laser. I love it. Um, where I'm at, I don't have coax, so I got a little wireless adapter and this Rosewell gaming keyboard. Now, the only things I don't have here is I have the exact same case. Now, since I'm going back to PCs after two years of being on uh, Mac laptops, don't get me wrong, I still keep my Mac. I do all my productivity on it. Just gaming, I need a, a Windows-based system. So, with the exception of the stuff I already showed you, I got the same case that you got, Jack. And I needed, like I said, a keyboard, mouse, and a monitor. So, what I got was this beautiful HD monitor. Um, it's a 23-inch LCD, full HD. Um, and, you know, one of my goals with this system is I hope that I won't get smoked on day Z as much and we have to actually see people because currently I get something like 10 frames per second and that's just miserable so here's the majority of my parts laid out got my processor CPU fan um, which is awesome it already has the goop on the bottom so I don't have to put it on there hard drive CD drive DVD writable all that stuff uh, my glorious amounts of RAM graphics card um, I went with this power source. This is the one that um, Jack recommended. And what I didn't think about is it's a smaller wattage. And then I have more RAM and a bigger processor. So hopefully it'll still have enough power. I mean, if not, I'll just get a bigger one. But hopefully it'll work for now. Um, SATA cables, cable ties, uh, motherboard. Uh, it, it's important, don't lose your install guide. Um... Because I've up done this before. I've done many CP builds, uh, PC builds, and um, oftentimes I'll switch out the motherboard, or switch out components, and upgrade process. And if you don't have that, you can kind of get yourself confused. So basically, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to follow Jack's video. And when I get it all put together, I'll give you a shot of the inside of it. And like I said, it's the exact same case, so it's not going to be tremendously different. But we'll see how it goes. And here she is completed. This is my version of the Jack Frags Steam Box. Um, one of the things you'll notice, of course, there's the two sticks of RAM. Um, other than that, it looks about the same. A little bit different power sources. The one that Jack recommends in his video. And um, all I have left to do is uh, load up good old-fashioned Windows and then motherboard driver disk that's a graphics card and that's for my uh, headset um, so yeah we'll see how this goes here's the finished product all set up um, this is going to be the first power up so let's see how it goes okay the monitor's got power so it's a good first step um, oh, I know I forgot to do something. There you go. All we're 
you're looking for is a post. All right, that looks good so far. So I don't know what happened, but I must have done something right because this appears to be loading Windows. Um, I did have a problem with it recognizing the keyboard at first. I'm having I have a feeling that's because it's a USB, and the motherboard actually have the old-fashioned little green and purple things on the back of it. I used to plug an old-school mouse and keyboard, but we'll see how it goes. And, uh, thanks, Jack. It's been an amazing video. Looks like it's going to work so far. Um, so here we are, finally up and running, playing DayZ. Um, the one thing I had before I bought all this is I had a Plantronics Gamecom headset, uh, 7.1 surround sound. Um, and so here it is, looking crisp and clean and beautiful. Uh, yeah, it worked out perfectly. Uh, this was all due to Jack's video about how to set up a gaming computer. And as I said earlier, the only things I changed was a little bit bigger processor, a little bit, well, a lot more RAM, and I had to get the mouse, keyboard, and monitor, and a uh, wireless adapter. Other than that, just like Jack said, works out perfect. Right on, Jack. Now there are a few more things I need to say. I realized after I was looking at editing this video, um, I only pointed out. Uh, that I'd loaded up DayZ. I've actually loaded up DayZ, Planetside 2, Tribes Ascend, and Battlefield 3, all of which so far are running magnificently. Um, and I've said before I, I love Macs. I, I want to point out that I'm actually filming this all on my iPhone 5. So, you know, still love the Apple. But yeah, excellent. Also, I have had absolutely no problems with the power source. Um, I know I said before I was worried that it wasn't high enough wattage to get things done. I've had absolutely no problems with it. Um, the only issue I've had in the entire build after it was put together was one of the wires slipped down into the CPU fan and started making that little zzz noise. So I opened up the case, tied that back, no problems. So I think the absolute last thing, and I've said that like three times now, that I actually need to say is how much did all this cost? This entire setup for everything that I've pointed out in the video came to $855 American. Um, that's not bad. It's a lot cheaper than the other PCs I was looking at purchasing. Uh, I totally spaced on the fact I actually knew how to build one of these myself. And Jack's video reminded me of that. So, thank you, Jack. Uh, I, I, I'm guesstimating this would have cost a, at least double to put together. And it didn't. It's, it's here. I'm going to go pwn noobs now. So, y'all have fun. And keep watching Jack. Jack's amazing. He knows what he's talking about.